Good evening everyone, this is Ola and I'm here on this Sunday evening invigorated from my uh, relatively quiet weekend for once um, It's not great weather outside, it's actually been raining all day but that's not going to stop us today We are going to be looking at how to get into motion graphics So this is not really going to be a traditional tutorial like I usually do but uh, it is a response to the question I get asked the most which is how to get into motion graphics and so uh, to cover this topic I'm going to be covering uh, what is motion graphics uh, the programs, operating systems, PCs uh, where, where you can learn if you want to learn yourself uh, what to study at school and uh, finding places to get inspiration and um, Twitter which we will finish off. As you can see I've roughly um, mapped out what we're going to be covering along the top here. I've just been going from left to right. So uh, the first thing we're going to start with is motion graphics. What are motion graphics? Well according to Wikipedia motion graphics are videos are graphics that use video and or animation technologies to create the illusion of motion or transforming appearance. These motion graphics are usually combined with audio for use in multimedia projects. So here we have uh, my reel from last year and this would be a good example of what motion graphics are. Uh, as you can see it's just moving images, uh, in this case lots of 3D. But uh, you get the idea, it's just pictures that move basically and uh, it probably sits within the realm of uh, 2D and 3D uh, usually merged together. Uh, as you can see this here would be a 2D title but it's still classed as motion graphics. Uh, cool, so that's that, that covers, I mean you could get far more complex into um, what motion graphics actually are. Uh, here you have the scope of the term, uh, the animation styles, um, but we're not going to be going into that too much. We might touch on um, certain parts of that. Uh, first of all I'd like to point out for the people that have followed me for a while that the difference between motion graphics and editing I am not an editor and I, I'm going to say this right now because a lot of people um, ask me how can I get into editing and the first thing I tell those people is I am not an editor. An editor is someone who uh, would sit and use exclusively a program like Avid or Final Cut one of those two programs and uh, they would know a bit of Photoshop probably maybe a bit of After Effects but uh, the f people watch these uh, montages that I've made and think, uh, you know, this guy is an editor while well, I'm not an editor. And I just wanted to get that out of the way right off the bat. Um, yes, there are elements of editing in this, and obviously it's all cut together. Um, but it's And it's a kind of melange of all these different kind of things, editing, motion graphics slightly, and obviously in the intro there's a lot of 3D and compositing. So uh, I would say Halos, if you are um, a young person trying to start out um, just learning about motion graphics and uh, compositing and all that kind of stuff, um, getting footage from games, if you can get captured footage from games, if you don't have a camera, if you have a camera, even better, go out and film stuff, but um, if you don't have a camera using footage from games, I've mentioned this before, is actually an incredibly good way to start um, just working with footage, uh, if you want to get into grading and uh, learning stuff and just um, compositing elements and stuff like this. Uh, I think that I would definitely advocate um, using video game footage to get started because not everyone can afford to go out and shoot footage themselves. Uh, and it's certainly the way I started out, although um, you will have to go a lot further to uh, get where you want to go. Um, editing this is an example. If you want to get into editing, this is, especially as a junior, more an example of what you would be cutting. You would be expected to, um, first of all, um, they would bring you, the pro pro the producer on the job would bring you um, the tapes and, the, and you would be expected to um, digitize the tapes, so read the memory cards and all the um, footage that was captured. This is called uh, rushes then you would look through the rushes, find the best takes because each interview would be filmed from uh, usually three angles, maybe two angles and um, it would be filmed over and over again and you would select the best takes and then um, sometimes you see it would cut out to like, can you see a closer up? 
would be a different take and you would literally just have to cut simple stuff like this and I'd just like to point out editing is actually not as glamorous as a lot of people think it is unless you can get into like the very very high echelons of um, companies that do film and TV shows in which case I'm sure you'd have a blast at editing um, or trailers even but uh, a lot of the time editors spend their life actually cutting corporate footage such as this I'm not I'm not having a go at it but just um, if you are intending to get into editing just be prepared to do a lot of this stuff um, so I just wanted to get that out of the way uh, you know not that I'm having a go against being an editor but um, just be aware that it will be a lot of that kind of stuff before you even get anywhere near uh, being able to cut some uh, exciting kind of advertising or stuff like that uh, okay programs the, the first thing I would say is uh, the programs will depend on your operating system whether you're on a PC or a Mac uh, Mac is if you want to be an editor Mac is the only way to go pretty much because the uh, the main program used by companies now to edit is Final Cut and uh, there's a new Final Cut coming out soon which will actually be quite affordable but um, that is an Apple only program so you will need a Mac of some kind <coughs> uh, if you want to get into motion graphics and 3D uh, you can go for either really um, Linux, Mac or PC won't really matter the one things I will say is that um, PCs you can get um, 3D Studio Max uh, and uh, kind of programs which relate to that such as um, Krakatoa um, fume effects stuff like that you can only get on um, PC as far as I'm aware so um, if you do want to get into like really high-end simulations in 3D Maya is available on Mac but um, you will probably want to get a PC uh, and like I said before if you want to get more into editing uh, go for a, um, a Mac okay so uh, what programs will you be expected to learn well first of all motion graphics is a really broad field so I would um, just recommend going in with an open mind and um, just be aware you'll probably need to learn at least one 3D program to be um, able to do title sequences and stuff and um, After Effects is the main one here we have the Adobe Production Premium Suite and this is the one you will want to buy as it contains um, Premiere Pro which if you need to edit on a PC then uh, Premiere Pro will do the job um, it's a program which has got a lot better in recent uh, incarnations went from being quite a joke to actually um, pretty useful um, After Effects is your main program if you want to get into motion graphics this is the one you need to learn inside out uh, it's also useful because you can do compositing and stuff and even grading and stuff like that in there so um, After Effects definitely Photoshop also definitely and um, Illustrator, you will need to learn how to learn uh, use Illustrator, but not to a, a great a kind of um, great extent like you would After Effects or Photoshop. So um, yeah, those are the Adobe programs, and then for your 3D programs, uh, Cinema 4D is great for motion graphics. You can also build kind of attempt to build like photorealistic stuff, and it can do kind of simulations with particles and stuff but if you want to get into uh, kind of fluid simulations particle simulations you will want Maya or you will want Max basically or Krakatoa or any I, any of those kind of programs um, I would say Cinema 4D is just great for motion graphics it's used in um, a lot of blockbuster films now uh, Tron it was used heavily in Tron so uh, it's not to be sniffed at definitely but I would definitely um, approach it in the sense that what kind of 3D do you want to produce because there are different kinds of 3D if you want 3D in terms of motion graphics and um, sequences like um, on the reel which I showed you before like um, this uh, this kind of stuff uh, all of this was done in Cinema 4 and that's After Effects, uh, After Effects Cinema 4D um, all that kind of stuff is fine but if you want like realistic clouds and particles and stuff uh, get into Max or Maya basically uh, both of those are made by Autodesk as I mentioned earlier uh, Max is PC only and Maya you can get on PC and on Mac so uh, if you do have a Mac and want to get to high-end 3D then get Maya 
Uh, if you can't afford one of those programs, a great way to get started is Blender. As you can see, Blender is a 3D program, but it's actually free. And a lot of the theory that you can learn um, through picking up Blender and just messing around with it, you will find what translate over if you do eventually port over to um, Cinema or Max or Maya. You will uh, kind of be able to pick things out as being, oh, this is what this was in Blender, and ah, this is here and this is there, because a lot of the things in theory are the same, polygon modeling, spline modeling, and Blender is actually getting a lot better. Um, it really is. It does simulations now. It's uh, definitely worth checking out. So, and like I say, you can get it on Mac, Linux, and Windows, which is added bonus. Okay, next, um, once you have your programs and you want to get kind of learning, uh, where do you start? Well, you can start with whole courses to learn the program, which I will cover later. But if you just want one off tutorials to um, learn different parts of the programs, the ones, the sites I'm going to go through now are the best place to start. And the best place for motion graphics is no doubt it's Video Call Pilot. It's become an institution now. Um, everyone knows who Andrew Kramer is, and uh, he is the reason why many, many people have got into motion graphics. Uh, his tutorials are, I'd say, about 85% After Effects and 15% um, max and uh, he, he does cool stuff um, he works on films and offers breakdowns on um, here we have set extensions really really always a very interesting um, place to begin if you want to learn After Effects and uh, he sells lots of cool products as well which are always worth buying so definitely the place to start um, the Tuts Plus network is cool. Uh, if you basically substitute Vector here for any of these, um, Vector is kind of Illustrator tutorials. Uh, you have the After Effects one, Vector Tutes, uh, Photoshop Tutes. There's a uh, CG Tutes, which is like 3D and stuff. So basically, there's a kind of mini site for every kind of program you would want to learn and it's full of free tutorials and then from n every now and again they have a pro tutorial which you have to um, pay for but uh, usually really good and really in-depth so a uh, good place to learn about stuff. Um, Motionworks is good Cinema 4D mainly Cinema 4D and um, After Effects He's, uh, I've actually been lucky enough to be part of um, tutorials that they're doing breaking down every plugin in After Effects which is cool and he does a lot of cinema 4D as well so uh, a great place to um, to learn those two Hello Lux is uh, Tim Clapham a guy from Australia as well and this is cinema 4D but at a more advanced level um, as you can see he covers Expresso which is kind of like um, the coding side of, uh, of cinema 4D and uh, the site might put you off if you're starting to look at down there things like this it might put you off and there's a lot of theory and uh, this kind of stuff but it's all very clever and it might not be as pretty as uh, something like video call pipes look at but it's definitely um, worth checking out and once you get into his tutorials he really is one of the best teachers out there I think. Uh, Grayscale Gorilla is probably the place you want to start if you are an after Cinema 4D noob uh, all his tutorials explained really thoroughly and at a really basic level he rarely covers anything too complicated and he always explains um, everything nicely so if you're um, just getting into cinema definitely start out with Grayscale Gorilla. Uh, Creative Cow is a bit of a blast from the past really I can't say I used um, Creative Cow that much anymore as you can see that the, the whole layout of the site is nowhere near as pleasing as any of the others but um, if you're at a loss or need to ask a question is usually a good place to come and ask a question because you will get responses but um, definitely check out the other three or four first before you come back here and lastly but not least there is my site which uh, I also offer tutorials of all kinds uh, we were just talking about the programs you want to get started in well I've done an introduction video to all of those programs Illustrator, Photoshop, After Effects and Cinema 4D which uh, kind of tries to get you started from um, if you haven't really used the program at all so um, it's probably a good place to start 
if you want to get into those four programs. Okay, um, the next part of what I want to speak about is inspiration. I think the most important part of getting into motion graphics is always being humble and always acknowledging that there are people out there who will be better at what you do than you do and that you will always strive to catch up to those people and I think that's very important you can also look at it in the fact that you could be quite depressed because you would think oh I'm never going to be at the same level as these people or you can look at it in the sense that well I'm going to try and catch up as much as I can and even if I'm not going to get to their level they will be the constant goal for you to strive for and that will be what keeps pushing you to get better and keep doing tutorials and keep learning and keep perfecting your craft and I think that is probably the number one piece of advice I could give anyone I certainly look up to lots of people out there and I uh, use that as motivation to keep um, getting better and so just remember that it's always someone out there who is better than you and use that as motivation really so these the next ones are places that you can go for inspiration so people that are the best and the first three I'm going to cover here are actually graphic uh, groups so groups that do just digital art but I think it's also important to if you are in the motion industry lots of people just observe artists who are within that kind of spectrum they will look at cool motion reels they will look at cool compositing breakdowns and stuff like this and largely ignore the kind of graphic community but I think if you open your mind to what um, pe people in the graphic community are doing you will see a kind of different side that can offer you perspective uh, the first one is depth core as you can see the site is down at the moment but depth core is basically the most talented graphic artists in the world and they are pretty much the elite core of uh, graphic design artists in the world so if you when the site does go back up literally check out the artists on there and there's some fantastic work on there uh, to a lesser extent slash free I would say this is probably the second best uh, kind of collective out there also once again massively awesome pieces of work here and just great inspiration to look at even if you these pieces are more detailed than you will ever get into with motion I think it's a good place to look if you want to kind of just step away from the just step away from the 3D element and the motion element and just look at things from a 2D side then that can often give you perspective that you might not have thought of and uh, spark ideas the last one is intrinsic nature and there's once again there's a lot of cool stuff here I'm not going to click on any of these because they take quite a while to load but definitely check out these three groups and there's uh, there's a lot to be said for their kind of skill and what we can learn from them as uh, motion designers okay so moving on Vimeo is cool Vimeo is a place where you can spend literally hours looking through uh, breakdowns and showreels and tutorials I think the most important thing to do is uh, follow people that know what they're talking about so if you look through their videos they have cool stuff because what happens is if you follow them and they like videos by other people you can usually usually expect that video to be quite exciting to watch or quite something and so it will show up in your feed here and that's a great way to get a kind of constant stream of inspiration and often when I tweet videos it'll be a video that has been liked by someone I follow which I kind of happen to stumble upon and um, just thought I'd post it so definitely a cool place to um, make new friends and also follow people that make uh, tutorials such as myself and there are lots of people out there that are just worth following um, moving on kind of same in the inspiration league Abdazido um, you can see that up here if you want to spell it this is just one of the most updated graphic design blogs out there every day literally every day these will um, all get updated and it is mainly for graphic design but there are lots once again there is a lot to be said for some of this stuff you can see on here this is actually by uh, Nick Enley who is one of my favorite graphic design artists and he's also in um, Depthcore which is the group I mentioned earlier he's a very very talented guy so once again there is a lot to be said for um, learning from people who know about graphic design okay so moving on 
and the next part I want to be covering is learning kind of a course doing a course at school as you can see I've just searched motion graphics courses here and uh, this is one of the first links that came up and I thought this would be a good example of probably the kind of school you want to be looking at first of all like I said you want to make sure you're looking at motion graphics and not editing courses because editing will take you down unless that is what you want to do you will end up doing talking heads and uh, that kind of stuff so just be aware that you want to be learning programs like After Effects, programs like Photoshop, Illustrator, Cinema 4D, Maya, 3ds Max. Uh, this seems like quite a good course. Their postgrads have come out and done work on Return of King, Tron Legacy. The people who are the instructors in this seem to have lots of um, professional kind of experience, which is also once again really good because they probably still have contacts and if you're good enough they might be able to get you an internship uh, when you come out if you have the skills so yeah I can't really point out any specific courses but those are the kind of things you want to look for also there's the kind of thing are, are you willing to move to go to do this course if you're not in California how far will you move um, if you're watching this in England you obviously might not want to go to California to learn about graphics but there's courses around in different universities in uh, London and there's also houses that do specific courses like Maya and stuff so it's just about first of all knowing what you want to do and then checking out check out uh, reviews of the course check out this is good because it's got small classes so uh, the teachers will give you lots of attention which is what you want really uh, moving on you don't such as the power of the internet now you can actually do courses from your house and the one thing I will say about doing a course from your house is it seems great in theory, you can do it when you want but you will also have a hard time finding motiv mo motivation because I've actually done this quite a lot when I was learning I, I bought kind of uh, courses from Linda and taught myself the programs and sometimes it's just really hard to motivate yourself to uh, uh, just wake up and think you're going to sit down and do 3-4 hours of tutorials and when it's sunny outside or you got you're just going out with your friends or you got stuff to do so in theory yes it's a great idea but just be aware that you might not always be up for it and so you will have to be incredibly disciplined um Cineversity is a kind of once again similar you can they've got lots of free tutorials but you can also pay for um advanced courses and this is literally just for cinema 4d so uh, definitely a place to check out people speak highly of that digital tutors uh, now we're moving on to the kind of monthly payment kind of thing so digital tutors you would pay set free every month and for that fee you would be have access to a massive and I mean massive library of online tutorials that you wouldn't be able to find on any of the free sites so you get what you pay for basically once again though, you, to get your money's worth you would have to sit at home and literally do all these tutorials uh, you'd probably be more motivated if you're paying every month because you think well I don't want to waste my money so I'd better do however many tutorials and I know a friend who uses digital tutors and he says it's really good so I'm going to take his word for that he's learning Maya at the moment and uh, he says they have massive libraries on every kind of aspect of the program so that might be a way you want to go down and it's not actually too expensive I think about 25 uh, pounds a month I'm not sure what that would be in dollars but I'm uh, definitely check it out and if you want to go all the way in the kind of online learning experience then FXPHD is probably the way to go as you can see here the courses are not cheap but you would you're learning some pretty serious hardware here uh, view smoke flame you can make a lot of money as a smoke or flame artist although that is more compositing nuke once again compositing so this is VFX and post so not so much um, motion graphics but if you want to get into compositing or you saw there there was Avid uh, Avid is editing and After Effects so as you can see there you might be able to find a course I haven't really had it massive look but uh, as you can see here you can come out with a certificate which is cool and uh, definitely will put your head of the pack if you come to um, applying for a job if you can say that I'm fully nuke certified or whatever but once again it's going to cost you a lot but uh, you get what you pay for here they have extremely 
um, well-known people doing the courses you have you get set homework so it's actually more like a proper school and you have a certain amount of time to do it there's new um, tutorials to do every week so if you can afford and if you have the motivation to work from home then uh, this is definitely the way to go okay so that about covers it last thing I'm going to do is um, cover Twitter um, for those of you who think Twitter is maybe you haven't used it or you just think it's for following um, airhead celebrities who have nothing better to say I can tell you Twitter is about as useful as you want it to be uh, myself I think it's far superior to Facebook um, it's the, probably the website I check the most and use the most because as long as you are following interesting people then you're gonna get a hell of a lot of um, good things out of it uh, myself I follow um, a variety of people that I have interest in or who are involved in areas that I have interest in so we have uh, music MLG music uh, football football Rooney uh, football reporters so would like um, tweet transfer rumors motion designers uh, here we have art of the title which is good for um, video inspiration so they basically um, just do interviews based on um, people who have done kind of opening title sequences for shows and stuff so that's always really good value uh, there's people that profiles like a tips which literally just put out a tips actually seems to um, have stopped tweeting so I might unfollow that right now um, but you have people like Angie Taylor is a motion designer and she's uh, has her kind of area of expertise is um, kind of character animation and stuff and uh, she usually very clever woman tweets lots of interesting stuff uh, you know I have the kind of <laughs> Donald Glover from uh, community and I follow a lot of music as well um, but like I say I also follow theirs Depthcore again once again motion works and if they're working on anything cool or a new tutorial goes up or just they, they want help on something or even if you have a question to ask them um, most of these people although they might be uh, really busy Tim Clapham is has answered like two of my questions that I've asked him and he's been really useful for me and I think he's definitely one of the best people to follow uh, Nick not so much doesn't really answer um, and I have a bunch of other people here that who I have interest in so basically even if no one follows you on Twitter you don't that doesn't really matter as long as you are following people that um, are kind of um, just tweeting stuff that is relevant to you then I definitely recommend being on Twitter uh, people like myself like I said the any anyone who's involved in motion graphics if you just have a stream of their constant things coming up then you will have a constant source of inspiration and tutorials and things like that to get into um, rather than having to go around and check the sites a lot of the time they might post things on Twitter that will never make um, the website as a tutorial or it might just be a work in progress so I think just for those reasons um, just use Twitter and just you know stay away from airhead celebrities really and I think you'll find it a lot more interesting than uh, Facebook which I find is mostly for friends and I mean most of the time they don't have anything interesting to say anyway so yeah Twitter I advocate it strongly anyway uh, so there we go we've been speaking for nearly half an hour hope I haven't bored you too much but uh, I just wanted to get a lot of the information that I thought would be helpful for people who are trying to get started in motion graphics I've covered what I wanted to mainly I did forget to cover like what you would want in a computer which would be lots of RAM a good graphics card and yeah those are the main two things really and obviously uh, spend the rest of your money on programs that you'd want to learn I could go into a lot more detail but that in itself could be a half an hour presentation and something that I don't know a great deal about you'd be better off asking um, at Christopher on Twitter he knows a lot about computers he's building his own I've been watching him building a behemoth of a computer at the moment it's got me really excited for when I get my new one next year so that should be cool okay uh, reaching half an hour thanks for watching guys and I'll hopefully see you soon